hope she's being a bitch. I've had the saltwater tank set up for a long time. It's really nice, we both love it. But I've always also wanted a freshwater. I always see these amazing Pinterest images of plant walls set on a freshwater tank with like fish in them and it's just this healthy, beautiful ecosystem and I just want one really bad. So I found a 75. Uh, it was only like 100 bucks on offer up. It was pretty cheap, but everything else for it was really expensive. So we've had it for like six months and we're finally just now getting it started. Yeah, especially since it came with a stand. For oh, 70 yeah. bucks, that's like really bucks. cheap. Yeah, super cheap. But the lights and the filter are not cheap. But the reason I want it is because we have so many house plants. I want to make like a planted wall behind it. Yeah, we have a lot of house plants. Overground with plants. <laughs> too many plants. No, we don't have too many plants. We just need nice, you know, more areas for them. But I also really like Orondas. Like they're this cute little fancy goldfish with chubby faces. They're just really, really cute. Everybody else they're showing them too thinks that they're kind of ugly and they look like pigs or something. I just think they're so cute. I just want a plant tank with Orondas in it. It was really hard to find information on what a tank should be like for them, especially planted. Most people don't do planted tanks for them because they like to dig and root in the sand and they will like basically uproot all of your plants. But there's a set of parameters where you can make it work based on the substrate and the type of plants that you use. So this is what I have found in my research of planted tanks with goldfish in them. So for the substrate for these tanks, apparently you can use either soil or you can use sand. Personally, I just like the look of the sand, especially with some like the calico colored goldfish that I like. They're really pretty. They look nice with white sand, but a lot of plants didn't do well with that. That made our list of plants that we can use for this tank even smaller. I tried to research if you could do a layer of soil underneath your sand for the plants, if that would make them grow better, but apparently your sand will just sift down underneath the soil and it's pointless like you just pick one or the other. For a planted tank with gold finish in it you kind of have to have rocks because the only way that you can keep the goldfish from digging up your plants is by super gluing them onto the rocks. For these guys they have the the win and all their heads like a little chubby alien head it's called a win. It's really really sensitive so you have to use smooth rocks for them. So we picked up these rocks out of our woods and I did all the google tests like with vinegar to make sure they're not going to leach anything into our water. We found all the smoothest rocks we could find out of our woods. So hopefully these are fine. We're gonna run it for a little bit and test the pH just to make sure, but that's about as smooth as we could get. Some of the plants in aquariums kind of require soil or they don't do, they just don't do well in just sand. The list of plants that will work with sand and that are also hardy enough to survive in a tank with goldfish are java moss, Brazilian pennywort, java fern. I don't know, there's a list, I'll just list them all out. But basically you have to pick plants that are fine with not being in soil and you just super glue them onto your rocks instead. As well as, as the ones that the Aranas won't eat well, or dig up. I think they'll eat all of them. Oh. So these are the ones that are hardy enough to not die if they get eaten. Mm, okay. If you do go with sand, these goldfish are not bred for intelligence, I guess. They like to dig into the soil and they'll actually pick up pieces of if you have rocks or gravel. So you're not supposed to have gravel with them or they'll try and swallow a piece of it if they can get it into their mouth and they'll choke and die. So if you do go with sand, the recommended size is to have grains that are two millimeters or smaller in diameter. So get really small diameter sand. We used Supernaturals crystal something. The recommended size for the filter is to go at least one size up for your tank. So like if you have a 75 gallon tank, you get a filter that can at least do, I don't know, like 100 to 150. We went up to a 250 gallon just because supposedly goldfish are really really dirty. This one has an adjustable flow rate on it so hopefully it doesn't like blast them away in the water we can turn it down if we need to maybe <laughs> we'll see. The other nice thing about planted tanks that we're learning is that if you pick really dirty fish like goldfish the plants will actually use all the waste that they create and grow healthier and nicer so it's like win-win. If we can get it balanced it'll be a pretty sustainable ecosystem. Yeah, self-sustaining ecosystem. Tank size for these guys, they, they kind of vary widely, like the Thai ones that have really nice cute features can get really big, so it depends on which kind you get, but the recommended size is like a bare minimum 20 gallons for one of them, and then at least another 10 gallons for each additional, but they also do better in pairs because like, they're really social fish. So for our tank, it's a 75. I'm aiming for like Three total in here. Is that too much? Yeah, sure. Uh, three. Uh, three. Not all at once. Over time, they're not cheap <laughs> fish. Yeah, we'll do one and see how it goes. 
The other thing is they're really hard to find, at least in this area. We're in kind of Seattle area. We're pretty far out on Woodby Island, but in the Seattle area, I can only find two freshwater stores that even stock Morandas, and they're just, they're cute. They're just not as nice as the one that you see online for the, the shippers that import them from Thailand. We've tried shipping fish here twice from different saltwater websites. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Was that a fart? Oh god. We've tried shipping fish here, saltwater fish here twice and both times they've died and it just has not been a good experience even though they were packed really nicely, they had a heat pack, like they had everything that they were supposed to have, it just didn't go well. I don't know why. So hopefully we'll try one Oranda and see how it goes and hopefully they make it. In trying to learn all of this about these goldfish who are apparently very sensitive to everything and die really easily, the recommended shippers that I found that import healthy fish are Choo Choo Goldfish, Dow's Fancies, and King Koi and Goldfish. Those are three that are most recommended with like really good shipping and healthy fish and they're just like have great customer service. Can I say something bad about a different company? About the one that everybody says to avoid or can I not say that? Sure. Is that like... No, why not? Is that libel? No. I mean, it is liable, but is that illegal to put on YouTube? <laughs> but Choo Choo has amazing reviews though, and they were really nice. I already talked to them, and they helped me out some already, so Choo Choo for sure. So my vision with this tank is to have aquatic plants in here, and then to have some house plants somehow growing out the top. Golden pothos for sure will do well in a, in a gram if you just have the roots, just the roots sitting in the water, and then let the foliage come out the top. The whole plant can't be submerged. The leaves will just rot up there. But a couple of house plants that are pretty common will do well rooted in water, like if you can them with a basket or something so we'll figure that out as we go but yeah i would just love to have this like plant wall amazing Yeah, I was gonna say maybe that one on that side because it's the same speckled granite as this. And then this one's white. I don't know what I'm doing. Remember, you have to like put plants in between. That's what I was so. thinking. Perfect. looks satisfying, especially if there were plants yeah. on both sides. Yeah. Basically, you want enough rocks in there just to have something pleasing to look at and to anchor your plants, but you don't want to put so many rocks that it takes up too much swim volume for your fish. I don't know, it seems like a nice medium, right? Yeah. They all sit in the sand pretty well, actually. We didn't really need to super glue any of them, but if you did want to super glue them, you just have to get cyanac or cyanac or late corroborate something. I'll write it on there later. Gorilla super glue gel. As long as it's the gel, it's safe to use in the gram and underwater. Yeah. That's what we'll use for the plants later. We had this piece of driftwood that we were thinking about trying in there, but it has some kind of pokey parts on it that the Orondas really can't have in their tank. Otherwise, if they'll bump into it and get cuts in their wind and then they get infections and die because they're fragile. Hi. Yeah, I think that would work has one pokey spot here, and then the end down here is a little pokey, but I think if we sand those down until they're smooth, that would actually work. And then we have something to grow like a pothos out the top of. Mm. Oh my God, <laughs> buddy. Wow. <laughs> Got our roti system installed right here. This is for the water, for the salt, and now the fresh water. So, you know, you don't want to have all the additives and minerals and such that you get from city water or we're on well, well water, water here yeah so you need to get one of these we have ours installed under the sink because it's the easiest location that would work best for us mm -hmm. where our tank is some people put it like in the laundry room they set up the roadie behind like their on their laundry faucet but it's just it's really far away from our fish tank yeah and this is right around the corner so usually i would just put my bucket or whatever here, catch the water. Mm -hmm. Except you haven't been putting a bucket so far, even though wifey has been like, hey, maybe we should put a bucket underneath that jug in case we forget about it. No, I'm sure it'll be fine. We won't forget about it. That's water damage. <laughs> 
Some people do use their well water in their fish tank, huh? And it's maybe okay, but maybe not. You would have to do some serious testing to see if you had anything risky in it. Yeah, but still, it wouldn't be recommended. And plus, this way for us here, we can just run this hose, we just bought a really long one, all the way to the tank, and we just fill it up with a hose and fill up a jug. Makes it a lot easier. We just bought like 30 feet of hose so we could run it straight to the tank. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Sorry. Five. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, in our five gallon jugs, it takes how long to fill up? Three hours? Three, four hours. I haven't really timed it, but. Miss. <laughs> Ladies. So for a 75 gallon tank, it should take how long? <laughs> mm, a couple days. 570, I gotta count on my fingers. So 1.8 days straight, day and night. This is why I'm a science student. The reason why I like it here also is because we have the wastewater going straight down into the pipe down there. Just to go out to our septic. Yes, miss? Are you interested in what we're doing? <laughs> Ooh! There it is. That's why it takes a day and a half. Two days. Two, two days plus maybe. Oh, it's gonna take forever. <laughs> okay, well, we'll be back in like three days. It's hard, especially like it's easy if it's you and me and then we're just like talking to each other and then it just happens to be camera there. But if it's this, we've had this 30 gallon salt water. See, I hate that. See, and now like if I'm self-conscious about it, I'm like, not being myself. What are you doing here? What do you got back there <laughs> behind you? What's going on? Shoot it! Shoot the J, babe! Yeah, this is what I need. Thanks, babe. What do, you, what do people want to know in like an intro? I don't know. So, uh, you know, I have behind me here my fish tank that's been sitting for half a year now because uh, I'm too lazy to start it up. But <laughs> I have sand that I bought like a couple months ago and I just let it sat. Now I got a tank over there with a bunch of old ones with the mold that I cleaned up because I didn't set it up yet. And here we are, <laughs> ready to do this. Perfect, that's the intro, thank okay. you. <laughs>